Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how WebSphere Liberty Docker image with remote administration can be built from the WebSphere Liberty Docker image available in the Docker Hub and the Liberty server running on the Ubuntu Docker Docker container can be accessed from the WebSphere developer tools. Start the demo by reviewing the Ubuntu Docker IP address. Using this IP address, we will be accessing the remote Liberty server. So the IP is 192.168.59.103. Let's log in to the Ubuntu Docker host. So now we are in the Ubuntu Docker host. Let's review the images available. Give Docker images command. So we have the Liberty server image already available. Now let us start a Docker container with the WebSphere Liberty image to capture the necessary information required for the remote administration. So docker run is the command to which we are passing the environment variable license equal to accept and the image name is WebSphere Liberty and the command which we are going to execute is config utility. The parameter is action is install and the configuration snippet name is remote administration to which we are going to pass the parameters variable admin user value equal to admin user and then the variable admin password and the value equal to admin password and the variable key store password and the value equal to liberty the requested remote administration configuration has been downloaded let us copy this information right click copy and add this information in a server.xml file. Let's go to the Liberty folder. So in this folder we don't have any files. Let's create the server.xml file. We will be deploying a web application to this Liberty server. So let's add the web profile 6.0 feature in the server.xml file. So we have added the web profile 6.0 feature. Let's review the remaining configuration. We have the username, password and the default key store password. So now let's, we need to add the write directory information. So let's add that information. It's going to be slash opt slash IBM. Next we need to provide the read path information. So let's add that slash opt slash IBM. So we have made all the necessary changes. So let's save the file. Let us create a docker file, vi docker file. We are going to use WebSphere Liberty as the base image. So let's add that from WebSphere-Liberty. Next we are going to add the server.xml file which we have created. So let's add it under the slash opt slash ibm slash wlp slash user slash server slash default server slash server.xml using env instruction we are going to add the license information license space accept let's save the docker file using this docker file we are going to build a new docker image docker build is a command minus t and then our liberty is the image name dot for the current folder so the image is getting built and the image has been successfully built so let's use docker images command to review the new image so our liberty is a new image which has been added let's start a container using this new image docker run is a command to start the container to which we are going to pass various parameters name for the name for the container and minus p and the various port associations to indicate the post, post association between the host and the container and minus d to specify the container is going to run in the background mode and minus t and the r liberty the image name so the container has been successfully started try to access the remote server from WebSphere developer tools right click click new click server 
select the WebSphere application server liberty profile, server's host name, provide the boot to docker host IP address and then click next, provide the user as admin user and provide the password and the secure port 9443 then click verify so then click accept for this session so we are connecting to the remote server the configuration files are downloaded click next and then click finish we are creating the resource in the WebSphere developer tools so now the remote liberty server configuration has been added to the WebSphere developer tools. So we have verified that in the console logs. Now let us deploy a sample application which is there in the Eclipse workspace. It's a very simple servlet application which is just going to print simple servlets run successfully. Run us, run on server and select the remote liberty server click next click finish the sample is getting published to the WebSphere liberty server so let's check the logs in the browser let's add the name servlet name simple servlet so the application is running successfully so let's do some changes to the existing servlet so the change what we are going to make is very minimal we are just going to add a modified word before the statement so now it has to print modified simple servlet ran successfully save the changes so the changes are getting published so we could see the application has been stopped and updated so let's refresh and check so we could see now modify simple servlet ran successfully message is printed so the updated sample is deployed and is running successfully. As part of this demo, we have seen how Liberty image with remote administration can be built using the existing WebSphere Liberty Docker image which is available in the Docker Hub. Also we have seen how the remote Liberty server running on the Docker container can be accessed from the WebSphere developer tools. Also we have seen the sample changes what we do in the Eclipse workspace is getting picked up by the remote Liberty server running on the Docker container. Thanks for watching the demo.